Hello and welcome back to my channel. And again, um, I don't know if you know from my previous video, I said I was gonna be doing some box openings um, of hamster products. So I'm gonna be doing some box opening and reviews. And I have another package from Amazon and it is a hamster product. What product? Let's see, let's get on with opening this one and we'll see what we've got. So this is the package, so let's open this. Very well wrapped anyway, but that's a probably good thing for protecting the product. I'm going to be using um, Kubo for this video. So he'll demonstrate this product for me. Okay. It's coming out. Oh, there we go. So for, I would say, definitely for mice and dwarf hamsters and gerbils. So let's take this packaging off. I must admit this is very well wrapped. Oh, I didn't actually know that, but it has got glass. The hamster was to go inside of here. It actually won't be able to get out because it has a, a lid. You can remove it. But if you didn't want to remove it, there is the two holes here for the hamster to go in. And maybe here we could put some little treats and things for um, Kubo. So we can watch him in that. So that is the product. Hello, so I'm back again. So I'm going to be talking about this product that I purchased. And um, it does come with this like see-through kind of plastic so that the animal can't get out. It's not as big as I thought it would be. It's definitely for small animals, such as mice and dwarf hamsters. Um, you probably could get a small Syrian hamster to use this, but I know that Syrians grow to be very large, so I don't know um, if I would recommend it for a Syrian hamster, but definitely for dwarfs, mice, gerbils. Um, um, Kubo will be demonstrating this product for me because Kubo is my smallest of all of the dwarf hamsters that I have. Um, so I'd rather he try it out first because he is the smallest, so for him I think this should be okay. I'm going to be placing some um, food in here um, just to see how he goes so yeah I mean um, check out my other if you haven't already my other maze video that I made from Mega Blocks. this one I've actually bought this one I just wanted to try it out I might be making more um, mazes in the future um, but like DIY, making it, thought it looked interesting. Um, I wanted to give it a review and see how it goes with the hamsters, if it's worth anybody purchasing. Um, again, something different for the hamsters. I talked about this in my last video, if you haven't seen it. The assault course, that was it. His salt course and the puzzle playground those are the two recent videos that I've done and their product reviews and you know I was talking about how I buy these products because I generally put my hamsters in a playpen they get to experience different products and not always the same thing because it would be very boring if I just give them the same all of the time because they can't get out of their cage so it's interesting to give them something like you know something to stimulate them and um, yeah something exciting for them so I'm going to now get Kubo and we're gonna see how it goes and yeah should be interesting so here is Kubo 
and he is going to be trying out the maze and we're going to see if he likes it. I have put a few treats in there at the back just to see um, if he goes for that. So we'll just go and try that now. So should we go and try that Kubo? Okay. We're kind of matching today because we're in our black and white. So I'm in black and white pinstripe trousers and Kubo's black and white. That wasn't planned, but um, just funny that we're black and white today. Okay, so that we don't miss anything. There are the treats at the back and here are the holes at the front and here is Kubo in my hand and here we go. Oh, go this way Kubo, that's it. And yes, he's got the treats. I'm not going to put the lid on top. I don't fancy that idea of having the lid on top. Oh, and he's going to go back in all by himself. So I think he likes it in there. But can you see, Kubo is a very small dwarf hamster. Smaller than my other dwarfs. And he fits in there perfect. Really, he fits in there perfectly. So um, I definitely wouldn't recommend this for a now a Syrian, not even for a baby Syrian, because Kubo is a small dwarf hamster and he fits in those holes perfect. I will try Daisy and Rosie and see. Oh, he's definitely now getting into the treats. And not yet. I don't know. I think he's very, he's too curious. He's too active now. Because like I said, well, I found him playing in his cage and he's very active. So I think he's just going to just keep roaming around. I got this from Amazon and it retailed at about £15. So not too bad. He's after my trousers. He's gone now inside my trousers. <laughs> Kubo, where are we going? What are we doing? Are we going to go back in? Come on then. Where's the food, Kubo? Where's the treats? Well, I think Kubo settled in the maze. He's liking the, the treats. And here I have Rosie. And I'm going to see how she... She's one, like I said, she's a little bit bigger than, than Kubo. It's funny to see them both in there. They're both coming out, different holes. Go back in. Yeah, she's go back in because she's smelling the food. He's already eaten, so. Is there food in there, which is very difficult for them to get to because it's a bit of a <laughs> tight fit for um, Rosie, but she's still wandering around through the holes, which is nice too quick for me so i hope you enjoyed that video of the maze can't hold it up because i've got the um stuff in there but i hope you enjoyed that video of the um hamster maze that i will put a direct link down below in the description box if you are interested in purchasing this so i found that it was good for dwarf hamsters for the size um i wouldn't recommend it for syrians i definitely recommend it for gerbils and i would recommend it for mice something to think about it does have a lid on top i generally prefer to use it without um just like them to have that freedom 
but um, yeah, it's a good product, definitely for another good boredom breaker product. Um, give them something different, something to change as well. It's made of wood, so it's another good gnawing um, tool for them. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, um, subscribe, and again, a very big thank you for watching.